Hi, this is Hardik Agrawal reporting live from Global Soccer Conclave 3.0 here in Navi Mumbai. Today I have a special guest with me, the newly appointed AIFF president, Mr. Kalyan Chaube. Hi, sir. How are you doing today? Very nice. Thank you. Many, many congratulations on becoming the new president of AIFF. Uh, how, how are you feeling after becoming the president, sir? Thank you very much. And uh, well, feeling more responsible and feeling like. Uh, it's a 1.4 billion Indians have a dream to football, must do well in international standard. So I'm feeling good and feel, feeling that responsible uh, individual. Along with you, uh, there are other former football players who are part of the gov governance this time around. We have uh, I am Vijayan Sir, we have uh, Baichung Bhutia Sir. So is this a better uh, governance that we could expect in the coming future from AIFL? Yes, of course, you know, it is, I, I, I would say it is a mix of both. There are eminent players who has played football on ground, who has uh, practical experience. And also there are uh, mature, experienced administrators uh, who knows how to run the game, who knows uh, what are the ways to generate revenue, who knows how to connect with the government and other authorities. So I believe this time the team has formed for All India Football Federation is bit of uh, balanced between uh, practical and theoretical experienced people. True. And sir, women are taking charge in the decision making. We have Pinky Magar and Thongam Devi in the decision making. So how prominent it is to have women on board at the top of the governance? It is, you know, uh, as they say, you know, 50% population is women. Yeah. And if that women, they don't empower women they don't come forward to the mainstream of life then it is uh, very difficult or rather impossible to you know uh, improve or develop in that particular uh, thing either sport or anything in life so this time we have uh, we have taken three women uh, uh, members two are eminent football player and one is elected in a uh, all india football federation first time in history of 85 years that uh, valenka alamo churchill is the only women uh, executive committee member who had come uh, through proper election and she is elected member. So I believe All India Football Federation is having a proper balance of men and women, uh, the region, region, the language, the caste, trade. I believe this time All India Football Federation uh, will work positively. That's incredible. Uh, also talking about women, there is a World Cup coming up, Under-70 Women's World Cup. So, what are the challenges that lie ahead of AIFF before the mega event? See, of course, this is a, a big challenge. Our girls need to do well. But uh, in terms of All India Football Federation, we are going to organize 40 matches of the girls' football in 40 different parts of India. We also try to uh, promote the replica of uh, our FIFA Under-17 World Cup uh, so that the pan-India uh, people must know that India is going to host this a uh, big event and we believe this uh, this tournament fifa under 17 women world cup definitely encourage many girls many girl child many women to come forward and take football uh, as their career in as, as a sportsman as an admin as a sports journalist any anyway but to associate many women into football after fifa under 17 women world cup that's what i believe and uh, what are the measures that aif will be taking to ensure higher fan engagement for the upcoming World Cup? See, as I said, there are 40 uh, matches yeah. in 40 different parts of India. We organize and we'll see that all those matches must be uh, women uh, football matches. <clears throat> but if there are certain areas, if we find there is a lack of women footballers, we try to organize matches with men footballers. But the idea would be promoting FIFA under 17 women to let the girl child know that India is going to host a big tournament, international tournament. Right, sir. And please throw some light on your interaction with FIFA president. Uh, what can we expect uh, to happen in the Indian football in the coming years? And where will Indian football stand in the global scenario in the coming years? See, I am honored that uh, Mr. Infantio, uh, President FIFA, uh, has called me to congratulate me. And he said that he will provide all the possible support. And he, he is looking forward to strengthen a relationship between uh, India uh, in general and All India Football Federation in particular uh, with FIFA. 
and I also said that uh, All India Football Federation will follow all the guidelines and see that football uh, how and where should do well. This is what we have spoken. He has also invited to meet meet him. So I'll be meeting him uh, sometimes during the FIFA Under-17 World Cup, most probably in Mumbai, uh, with my entire team. And I'm looking forward to meet him and his team to see how Indian football go forward. And so to have a better future in football, uh, the ultimate agenda of Indian football is to play a World Cup. But I was reading somewhere that you have been to hundreds of inaugurations of Football Academy and there you have seen people stating that India will reach football, uh, India will play the World Cup in the next eight years. But you have set more realistic plans and please, please throw some light on the plans that you have in your mind, the realistic plans that you have in your mind. Yes, of course, you know that, you know, uh, there are a lot to be done to engage uh, more footballers. Uh, to create and generate more competitions. You know, like you often hear uh, f uh, from uh, football lovers that say India is a, is a, a nation of 1.4 billion people and you cannot produce 11 players yeah. who, can, who can participate in World Cup. Other smaller countries, they are having maybe uh, uh, 10, 10 million population uh, is, is playing, playing football in World Cup. But the issue is that, you know, it's not about the population, it's about the how much percentage of the total population is playing competitive games. So unless you play competitive games, that your, your talent will not grow. And unless your talent not grows, that you cannot scout the talent. So All India Football Federation will take several measures to take Indian football into international level. But one of the measures certainly will be to create more competition, more grassroots level tournament, more baby leagues, more youth league. So that youth will get more competition, so they explore their opportunities, and they, you know, that that's how they flourish those talents. So we see, but uh, as we said, we, we uh, wait and we take the development plan uh, plan from the all the member association of state and union territories, and thereafter, hundred days, we come with a proper plan policy how we are going to execute it to take Indian football next four years. That's fantastic. Uh, also, sir, about the commercialization aspect here in India. There are a lot of ISL clubs and big players are investing in the clubs. But they are not getting enough return. A lot of fans in India support their European teams, but they fail to, you know, come to the stadiums to support their Indian teams. So how can Indian football generate more revenue by attracting the fans to the stadiums? You see, definitely uh, I, we are uh, scheduled to meet uh, Reliance and FSDL management. Uh, we are going to discuss internally. Uh, that how uh, it has been organized past years and then why the fans are not turning up if at all not turning up i i heard there are areas where people are coming from football yeah like kerala and, like kerala and, yeah. and i saw even uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, one of the match of duran cup in manipur there was 35000 people this they, they watch that match in imphal so i believe fan is there uh, to watch football and, and and to encourage footballers we just need to see that you know if there is anything to be done collectively uh, with uh, ISL and All India Football Federation in terms of promoting uh, fans, we definitely do that. Thank you so much, sir. That was really insightful. That was Mr. Kalyan Chaube, the AIFF, newly appointed AIFF president. Thank you. This is Hardik Agrawal signing off uh, from GSC 3.0 with cameraman Rahul Singh.